welcome back to the farm everybody uh today we're going to be doing some maintenance on this uh 1949 8n ford so we're going to be doing an oil change and we're going to get everything greased up nice and neat so i'm guessing if you're watching this video you probably just acquired your first 8n tractor and you're curious to know how some of the maintenance things work uh down in the comments why don't you go ahead tell me uh what kind of tractor that you have i've had this for five years and like i said it's a 1949 8n um, I'd like to hear about yours and uh, where you're from. So let's get started. So a few things that you're gonna need. Uh, you're gonna need to get your oil here. Um, I got myself six quarts. That's what the tractor should hold uh, when it's full. Usually it's just slightly under. Um, I got myself a new tube of grease so that we can grease everything up. Got myself the appropriate filter that I need. And um, we'll get that going. Bucket for the oil, uh, socket for uh, the drain plug funnel for filling everything back up and a rag to keep everything nice and clean. So the drain plug for the oil here is on the uh, front end of the tractor underneath the motor. The reason I say that is you don't want to confuse it with uh, with the one on the rear. That's going to be for your hydraulic fluid for your transmission. So this plug is more towards the front. Um, we're going to loosen that up. Uh, the oil comes out pretty quick so just make yourself aware that that's going to basically going to drain the entire engine of oil in a few seconds so have your bucket ready well we'll let that drain out of there for a little bit but uh here's what she looks like on the inside it has this nice little filter screen on the inside of the plug and uh, you can look down inside there and uh, usually that's where like filings and that'll kind of uh accumulate so you want to clean that out if you notice any in there well, while we're letting this oil drip and drain out of there, I'm going to start working on changing the uh, oil filter. Now that's housed right in here, and there's a top bolt on there, and I'm pretty sure these are probably universal if you have an old 8 end tractor. Uh, it takes a uh, 7 8 socket. Um, one thing you're going to want to be cautious about here, though, is, is you got your fuel sediment bowl, and that's made out of glass. So when you go to twist that bolt off of there, you're going to want to make sure that you don't run your uh, ratchet into that and break it and have all sorts of a mess. We'll just get this bolt out of the top of it. Just like that. Remember to set that in a spot where you're not going to lose it. And we'll get this cover off of here. It's got a little spring on the cap to keep everything pushed down nice and tight. Then your old oil filter's got this little handle so that you can extract it. Try to work ourselves around the old fuel line here. Try to keep as much oil inside that little basket as we can. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this down in, in the box that came with the new one. Now you can also see on the inside of this lid, there's a, there's a gasket around the outside. So we're gonna get that uh, pulled off of there. That way we can get it replaced with a brand new one. Got the brand new gasket here. Just get a little bit of oil and oil up that gasket. Now we'll get the new one installed. There we go, nice and neat. Got the handle on top. That way when you go to replace it the next time, super easy. Got the new gasket installed on the cover. And we'll put the bolt back in. Nice and snug. Well, we'll get the oil plug put back in. Now there's a gasket on the bottom of this and uh, I forgot to get myself one. Um, I haven't noticed any problems with leaks, but I'll probably keep an eye on it and uh, change it out the next time. Well, we're to the point where we're gonna start putting oil back in the tractor and, uh, and get her filled up. Um, the oil fill is right here next to, uh, to where the oil filter was. But uh, for this, if you uh, spend any time online, you'll find out that this is pretty heavily debated as to what type of oil should go in. Um, for the past couple of years that I've owned the tractor, like I said, I bought mine in uh, March of 2017. And um, 
I don't know what was done for 95% of its life beyond that. So when I got it and uh, changed the oil, I ended up putting uh, 10W40 in it. Um, we live in a colder climate here in Minnesota and I wanted to be able to start easily. But I have noticed that maybe my oil pressure might be a little bit low. So I'm gonna do some experimenting. I'm gonna be putting in 20W50 this time. And if it doesn't work out, you know, I'll change it out in a month or two. But um, like I said, this is a pretty heavily debated topic as to uh, what should be put in it. Um, I would say, you know, do your research online and go from there. So I'm gonna start with five quarts and uh, and once that's uh, in there, I'll uh, start looking at the dipstick and adding as appropriate. Well, we got that five quarts in and we'll check the dipstick here before we fire it up. You can see on there where it says the, the full line and the danger line and there's a pretty good size gap there between, uh, between those for the safe operating position. And I think right now we're sitting pretty close to full, maybe just a little bit down. Well, she ended up full just shy of six quarts. So at this point I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna get all the Zerks greased on the tractor, get her all lubed up and ready to rock and roll. Well, thanks for hanging out today with me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this and learned something and uh, you guys should check out more of our content right here. Thank you. Sit, Sadie, sit. Good dog.